Hello. Hey, homesteaders. Hope you're doing great. Uh, I am doing great. Thanks for asking, babe. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are here. We are going to be talking about our month this month, and I can't believe we are in September. It's crazy. The end of September. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're past halfway through it. Yeah. Um, it's just been a very interesting year. Uh, I'll be honest. Oh. A challenging year, but it's been a net positive. Um, but I'm not going to lie, there's been some struggle this year. Uh, some internal struggle, probably more than anything, but um, we're, uh, well, I'm pushing through that, we're, we're pushing through that, and um, and I think that, uh, I think that there's a lot of opportunity ahead, and we're really excited. Yeah. <laughs> so the garden has been kind of defunct. I mean, you can see right behind us, we have um, loofahs. The loofahs, which are super, um, got a whole bunch of them, but most everything <laughs> else is pretty much shut down except for maybe the basil, yeah, but we're done. everything's pretty much done. And so we're, we had kind of let portions of it, like where the corn grew and the pumpkins grew, we let portions of it just kind of go wild. Um, we're cutting all that down and we're going to be putting our silage tarp over all that black side up with sandbags in order to kill off all the weeds. The weeds sprout underneath and they'll die for months and months this fall and over the winter and even in the spring next year when we pull that off, all the weeds will have, weed seeds will have sprouted, it'll all be rotted down and the bugs will, and the worms will um, hopefully have eaten most of it. So I know in my last video I talked about how we're gonna be doing a fall garden and so excited about getting those seeds in and all that, but- I remember that moment of optimism. We decided, nope. <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah. not gonna do that we covered it up and we're not gonna do it yeah we're not having a fall garden we just felt like it was too much this year no winter garden um we have other things we're going to be focusing on this fall and winter and so we needed to focus on that may possibly grow a few greens in the greenhouse maybe over the winter maybe yeah but nothing too crazy um yeah so I'll be honest with you, at the beginning of this year, when we were kind of all geared up to maybe have, you know, another garden, um, I had a couple side hustles going on and some and some things that I was really trying to push into. And I, I'll be honest with you, I almost, we almost did not have a garden this year. I mean, I, I debated it heavily because I thought, man, it's going to take a lot of time. But I also know that there's a lot of crazy things going on in the world. There's a lot of uncertainty. So we wanted to be prepared mm -hmm. if something happened and continue to learn these skills continue to learn exactly stop it and so we did it didn't and want to we, lose a year and we're glad yeah. we did it but mm -hmm. we decided we needed to go ahead and take a rest for the fall and winter um just be done right we'll take a rest from gardening but we're by no means resting <laughs> uh, so we have a couple of different side hustles we've been working on um the one uh, I'm working on currently is um, some real estate stuff. So I've been putting a lot of energy and time and effort into that. Um, it's but been... before we even talk about that, oh, uh, we yeah. have, we've never mentioned this on here, but we are not on our own piece of property. We are actually renting. And that's true. sometimes when we are working and working and working on this property, it feels like a little bit of a waste of time because we don't know, like are we going to even how long are we going to be here we know that this isn't our forever home we know that there's another step after this mm -hmm. and so you know it's this weird thing like you work really hard but we're not sure where we're going with it and so it's not going to be there forever so because we know we're moving somewhere else and so it's just been a little bit weird to know how much to do on a homestead because I mean, homesteading, we want to go all the way. We want to do all the things, but then we have mm -hmm. these breaks that are like, mm, wait, yeah. we can't do it all right now. We have to wait until we're on our own piece of property. So there's that. There <laughs> is that. Yeah, I, honestly, with pretty much most everything we've done here, I've thought about it as in a temporary sense. You know, I would love to get dump truck loads of manure and compost and worm castings and all kinds of stuff and just really build the soil and make it the best soil in the world and but I mean this is temporary for us we're going to be walking away from it uh you know 
maybe sooner rather than later. We don't know. We're really working hard on it. Um, and so we're, we're just kind of thinking temporary. We haven't really built the soil a lot. We've done a little bit. Um, you know, I, I scooped the manure out of the chicken coop and everything, and we worked that in, did some other stuff, some peat moss and things like that. But really, that was a pretty small investment. Um, hello, Abby. You feeling better? <laughs> I'm not sure if you are. So, I, just to kind of give you a little bit of timeline, um, in 2018, at the end of 2018, in October, actually, we sold, we had a nice home, put a lot of, I'd owned that home for years, put a lot of work into it, a lot of effort, remodeled portions of it, did a lot of work, and we ended up selling that house in October, mm -hmm. and we bought an RV, it was mm -hmm. a $3,500 RV. <laughs> Which we do have a YouTube video about that, I'll go ahead and link it below, so you guys yep. can see that story. Paid $3,500 for it, cash, and then put about $2,200 into fixing it, put new floors in, this and that. So, you know, maybe $5,700 we have in our house. And uh, we lived at a camp site um, in Ohio for two years. And then a year and a half ago, a little more than a year and a half ago, um, we moved to Tennessee. So we took our house with us, took the RV down here. Mm -hmm. um, and we've loved Tennessee. It's been awesome. Yep. I... I have a relative who actually lives here and he's got uh, 30 acres. So we've been living kind of back behind the creek. There's a, several acres back here that was mm -hmm. just kind of scrubby meadow, you know, land. And so uh, I was given the liberty to have a garden here. So that's what we've done. Mm -hmm. um, There's plenty of space and it's been really nice, but it's not our property. And so right. we're just, we know like we're going to be getting our property pretty soon. And so... Um, and we're working really hard to reach those goals. We are. And so um, yeah. there's a few things we're going to be doing, we are working on. Um, I'm doing an Amazon FBA business, starting up with that. And mm -hmm. Dylan is going to be, he's been working on some real estate. So yeah. we've been working really hard on those things. And we decided for those winter slash fall, we're going to really focus hard and hit it super hard on those, both of those businesses. Yep. No. And to be specific about the real estate, um, it's starting with wholesaling, um, which is you don't really have to have a, a whole lot invested typically to get started with wholesaling and then um, moving into flipping. So that's kind of the, uh, the plan. Um, mm -hmm. So been working on that. We've been we've been working on it a lot here. How about you go there? Yeah, very <laughs> good. Um, and we appreciate very very much the opportunity we've had to live here where we're at right here in this piece of property um, but we've always known it wasn't ours and we really 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 want our own land just so that we can actually part, start putting uh, improvements and investments into it. into it that are gonna be there for years and it's gonna be ours you know and, and so you know quite honestly I knew that we would be in the RV for five or six years or we could be mm -hmm. of course you always hope it won't be quite that long yeah. it's been almost four years next month it'll That's be four crazy. years so, so well not so fast yeah like we've been in it forever <laughs> in a way <laughs> but yeah i i know that i'm ready to be in a house we both are really yep. really really ready yep. and, and you deserve a house hon and this rv living is possible it's totally possible mm -hmm. i mean it does care for your basic need of shelter but it's not it's just not the kind of situation for they're not really meant to live in i long, mean yeah i mean for such a long yeah. period of time i mean we either need an upgrade on a camper or or something different so we know that we're at that place in life where change needs to happen well. and so we're working really hard to make that happen yeah, well, that change really ultimately we want to get into a house. Mm -hmm. You know, we could get a bigger RV, but that's yeah. it's just a band aid. We really want to do the real thing and get a house. Mm -hmm. Just like the old days. Remember that, babe? Mm. There's just so many advantages to having a house that, mm. I mean, you could, the list goes on forever. Yeah. So that's kind of our situation. Um, and honestly, the reason we got into the RV living was because uh, we felt that we wanted to reduce our expenses, which we did. It's helped us get a lot closer to our debt-free goal quicker because mm -hmm. um, we reduced our expenses. We live simpler. And so that's been helpful. 
However, it's just not glamorous and all the YouTube videos that show how glamorous and awesome it is, it's it it, it, it can be it can be moderately comfortable, but it's just not it's just, there's a reason that most people live in houses. Yeah. <laughs> I mean Well especially yeah. like a camper what's more glamorous about a camper life is when you're traveling the world. Oh yeah. I yeah. mean a camper yeah. you're traveling, you're stopping and seeing all the sights, like yeah, that part is glamorous, but when you're just in the same place with the camper day in and day out it gets really tiring and so sure. um yeah so we're ready we're ready for a change and you know we don't regret this path that we've taken i know we've just learned a ton from it and we don't regret it at all but we know that it's time for that next step yep so. yep so you you can believe that we're working really hard on that we've said it already um but we just want to kind of be honest and transparent a little bit. I don't think we've ever really sat down and just mapped it all out like that. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, extremely grateful for this opportunity where amazing. we stay. It's been yeah. awesome. We Honestly, we've been able to treat it mostly like it's our own land. I mean, mostly. And that's been pretty cool. But just, you know, it's not, it's not all the way. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we're going to get there. Um, so, yeah. We we're kind of thinking like man do we go ahead and put silage tarp on here like we planned because you know who knows maybe we'll be out of here sooner than we think and uh we're just kind of hedging ourselves a little bit uh, we know that we might be here next spring and we might be like oh well this is lasting longer than we hoped and so we'll have a garden again yeah. it's all here, prepped we'll here, prepped and ready to go and it'll be weed free and all that kind of stuff yeah so we would love to be on our own piece of property though by next garden season i'd love to that would be yeah. ideal yeah. so that's our huge goal mm -hmm. and you know i guess we would just add the caveat if the lord wills mm -hmm. um because there have been times in my life where i'm like I'm doing this by this date and it's going to happen and try to speak it into an existence. <laughs> I've tried that a few times and um, that's, I, I think you have to add if the Lord wills. Yeah. Uh, you got to allow yourself a little bit of cushion there. Uh, things happen in the long run where you'll look back and you'll be like, you know what? I'm glad it didn't work out like I said it was going to or like I hoped it would. Mm. There's lessons to be that learned everywhere. Yep. But, so. Yeah. Yeah. So that is what's been going on here and the update with our farm and September life. <laughs> it's been busy. <laughs> it's been busy, but yep. we are thankful and God is good. Yeah, he is. He is. And I tell you, being grateful and thankful is so incredibly important. I'll be honest with you. A lot of the struggles I had this year were the fact that we, we, we hadn't moved from here because we really wanted to get into our own land, our own house. And um, quite honestly, that, that's just a serious internal struggle dealing with that. Um, so, but I feel like I've been able to push past it. Um, I'm back in a place of optimism and positivity and looking forward and being grateful and thankful, all those things. So it's been a huge learning experience for me, for mm -hmm. both of us, but yeah. especially for me, because I was, I was kind of, uh, kind of had a case of the grumpies for a few months. <laughs> Not, not perpetually, but there were moments. So, but God is good, and He's teaching me a lot through all of this, teaching me patience and perseverance and trusting in Him. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, the value of hard work and never giving up. Yeah. So, that's one thing my dad taught me: never give up. Every he said that so many times when I was a kid, and that's one of the great things that he taught me, and that always rings in my head never ever ever give up mm -hmm. and uh we're not giving up oh no so by god's grace mm -hmm. we're gonna get that permanent homestead and um Soon. <laughs> by god's grace
So appreciate you all. Thank you very much. And um, is there anything, anything else? No, I think that's it. All right. See you guys. See ya. Bye.